Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to share not only a research by magic around long context models, but we will also check out an evaluation benchmark hash hop, which has really rattled the industry at the moment because this is heralding a new era of long context models. Recently, Magic has trained their first 100 million token context model LTM2 mini. And just to give you a context, 100 million tokens means 10 million lines of code or somewhere around 750 novels. For each decoded token, LTM2 mini sequence dimension algorithm is thousand times cheaper than the attention mechanism in Lama 3.1 405 billion for a hundred million context window and that is not a small feat. If you really look at it, there are currently two ways of AI models to learn things. Either you train them from scratch or you can also include fine tuning in it or the other way is to give in context learning during the inference. Training still is a dominated way to ground the LLM in your own data or any data because contexts are relatively short. Even with RAG and prompt engineering, the context limitations are still there. But with researches like these where we could give ultra long context that could change the whole game. So instead of relying on a fuzzy memorization, Magic's LTM and LTM stands for long term memory. These LTM models are trained to reason on up to 100 million tokens of context given to them during inference. Software development, I think, would be the major beneficiary of this, where if you can give 100 millions of lines of code, I think you're model can do everything from debugging to documentation to instrumentation and uplifting of the code so jobs of software engineers i think they are the first casualty of long context model in my humble opinion also it's easy to imagine how much better code synthesis would be if models had all of your code documentation and libraries in context including those not on the public internet. So you can simply point it to your own private Bitbucket repo or um, GitHub repo or whatever you are using. And it is just going to be your guru in your own code. So what is the problem then? The problem is that current long context evaluations are not that great. We have a popular needle in a haystack problem which places a random fact, the needle, in the middle of the long context window or the haystack and asks the model to retrieve the fact. As you can see in this example, this needle in the haystack problem is a benchmarking task for evaluating long context model's ability to retrieve relevant information from a vast amount of data. As I mentioned, it involves placing a specific needle which is a target fact or information within a large haystack. Haystack is simply a long context window and ask, asking the model to retrieve the needle. The haystack typically consists of irrelevant or distracting information, making it challenging for the model to identify and extract the needle. So when we assess a model on this needle in the haystack problem, what we are doing basically we are checking model's capacity for contextual understanding, attention mechanism and memory and retrieval. But current implementation other than this one, the problem is around semantic head, uh, hints because model can exploit subtle patterns or hints in the haystack or there could be explicit signaling with some benchmark use special tokens. So this is where um, they have provided one of the um, product which is called as hash hop now this hash hop is very interesting and this is primarily um, you can say that it is um, a benchmark or method for assessing the ability of AI models with long-term memory to store and retrieve information from large context windows because if we can measure it correctly only then we can tell if it works or not and hash hop which is 
another product from magic does exactly that we are going to install it locally and then i will show you how you can use it because it deals with uh, long context memory so it needs to store long data in your vram so if you are doing it in a real prod environment you would i would suggest that you would need to have a h100 gpu with more than 80 gb of vram i don't have that but i will like, just try to show you how you can do it on nvidia rtx a6000 courtesy masked compute who are sponsoring the gpu and um, vm for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video's description with the coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Coming back to Hashop, um, I also wanted to show you a couple more things around this. For example, uh, let's try to see how this Hashop works first. And I will drop the link to its GitHub repo in video's description. So how it does is very, it's very interesting actually. So First, remember Hashop evaluates a model's ability to store and retrieve information from large context window and it performs logical reasoning and induction. Models like transformers, LSTMs or RNNs can process input sequences of varying lengths. So what Hashop does, it generates hash pairs as you can see on your screen. So um, hashes are random unique numbers like H1, hash1, hash2, hash3 and then it creates a context. So uh, a large context window is created by concatenating multiple hash pairs as you can see here that hash1 relates to hash2, hash2 relates to hash3 and so on and so forth. So model task is to do the completion so the model must first store the entire context window. Then it needs to retrieve the relevant hash pair and then it needs to perform logical reasoning to complete the query for example uh, if we just say hash3. So model should be able to do hash for of or if we say uh, something like hash 99200 it should be able to complete it that 200 one something like that whatever the pattern is um, this is a very simple pattern where anyone could guess it, but i'm just showing it uh, to you to uh, put the you know across so and then this is another example where you can see and then do the completion so this is what hash op does now let me take you to my terminal and then we are going to see how this hash op actually works. So this is my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card courtesy mass compute and VDRTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. So let me clear the screen. First up allow me to create a virtual environment because we need to clone the repo and uh, install it. So let's keep it separate from a local system let's wait for this virtual environment to get activated conda is activated next up let's git clone the repo of hash op and the repo is cloned next we would need to install um, all the prerequisites and the software from the root of this repo but for that we need the python packet manager poetry so you can install the poetry by running this command so let me run it it is installing the poetry that takes a bit of a um, couple of minutes so let's wait okay so poetry the dependency manager is installed you can check it out by doing poetry dash dash version and that is done it's installed let's clear the screen and now in order to install everything uh, all the dependencies just do poetry install then let's wait for it it is installing everything Okay guys, so this has been running for the last, I would say, two hours and it is still doing a lot of installations and my 48 GB VRAM um, GPU plus my CPU is not really, I think, suited for this. So you would need a real a good system, as I said, at least H100 GPU because it, that is understandable because we are dealing with long context here. But anyway... Uh, let me finish it by showing you how you can use this hash op to uh, do the evaluation on a model so let me take you to my vs code and show you and that is the good thing about it is that the code is very simple to understand you see this is the whole code which you need in order to evaluate the model so first up 
we are just importing this multi hop eval from hash hop once it is installed and then we are giving it the uh, jars per token here now in this code all of these are modifiable like jar problem num curious hops and all of this stuff so let me try to explain what exactly is meant by this so first up um, if you <clears throat> sorry if you look at this n char problem n char problem simply means problem size in characters so 1 million in this case uh, where it, we are just giving it 1 million context num queries it is a number of queries in the completion so we have 5 at the moment hops that how many hops it needs to make in the reasoning chain so we are giving it just two and then hash pair string length which is the characters per hash and we are giving it 16 here and then we are setting chain of thought to false which is a boolean value indicating whether to generate full chain or skip intermediate steps so chain of thought primarily simply means that um, ability of model to generate a sequence of intermediate reasoning steps to arrive at a conclusion rather than directly jumping to the answer which enables more transparent explainable and logical reasoning and then what's then what's that's done it is uh, generating the data point and then giving us the answer back so prompt is primarily the shuffled hash pairs as a string which i showed you earlier completion um, is simply queries and targets in string format and then we have query crown truth pairs in the structured format and that is all there is to it so i would say all in all real uh, good stuff if you are looking to evaluate a long context model this is a very easy way and of course the only problem here is that you would need a very good gpu but i'm sure that if you if your requirement is to evaluate a long context model you already have that sort of hardware so that's it let me know what do you think about it i'm going to put the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching